Alright, uh, this video is for Scott Furlong. YouTube channel is GPLE87, I think. Uh, he's working on a Monte Carlo. He needs to paint the fender jam. This guy's got a hard line in it. And I'm going to show you how to mask that. So after you get your jam sanded all smooth, you want to take your three quarter inch tape and how you fold it is you find something to stick it on like the edge of something or whatever anything you can find so you can just take them and pull on it so it's nice and tight you know not so hard that it tears like that but just so you can pull on it so it's got a pretty good amount of tension on it and now it's not sticky there anymore and then you want to fold over like the top quarter inch or so or not even I'll show you here it's easier to fold the top over when you have tension on the tape so you just want to go along and pull it and I'll show you what I'm doing if I can do this with the wrong camera hand Just folding the top edge of the tape over so it looks like that. So just keep doing that until you get a long enough piece for the length of your fender. You can do it in a couple pieces. It's always nicer to try to get it all in one shot. Just fold it over like so. Try to make it as even as you can. Drop your tape on the floor. So then you'll have a piece of tape like so. And then what you want to do you want to put that on your fender so the overlap the fold is right just maybe not even a sixteenth over the edge of your fender lip so basically you're going to take your tape like so put it on your fender all the way down the length so you just have barely anything sticking over the edge and then from there you just take and uh, mask off the rest of your fender with whatever and so um, when you're painting it just come and uh, you know, to spray, you can spray directly at it. You can spray down at an angle like this. Don't come up from the bottom and spray up, or try not to. You don't want anything to go under here, but if it does, it's not the end of the world. And then when you're done, I usually probably unmask it when it's still wet. It doesn't really matter too much. Then after that, you shouldn't even really be able to see anything right here. If there is, it'll just be a little bit of a... Uh, dry spray, a little fuzziness. When it's dry you can just take some rubbing compound and a towel and just buff it off by hand. Or if you get a little too much on there you can take some lacquer thinner or something and the rag and wipe it off when it's still wet but <laughs> I'd let it dry. Not knowing how cured the paint is that's on the car you don't want to wipe any of the paint off. And that's it. It's as easy as that. So good luck.